going on, Jerome? So it's very unfortunate that we find ourselves uh, in this spot at, at this point of the calendar, but it is what it is. Uh, and we're going to fire up a two-round Minnesota Fighting Vikings mock draft because just dipping our toe in the water, right? I want to do a little bit more homework before we, we fire up uh, the old seven-rounders. But, you know, it sort of is what it is, and the Vikings are sticking and picking at 11. Um, yeah, we're not, not going to trade on this one. Uh, but l let's see what uh, the PFF mock draft simulator spits out for the Vikes. Enhance. Enhance. So, up at the top, Caleb Williams won. Where I think the Bears will take a quarterback. I, I think you don't know what you have. Well, you're unsure if Fields is the guy. And after three years, you should know. And I, I think that the Bears would be kicking themselves if they passed up on a chance uh, for a guy like Williams or May or Daniels or whoever. Uh, but, yeah, Caleb Williams, he, uh, you're a bear. You go. Uh, Washington, they do have Sling and Sam Howell, but <laughs> they take the guy who replaced him at UNC. But Drake May, I, I think given his size, I think given his athleticism, his measurables, I, I think that he's going to be a draft darling very soon. And it wouldn't shock me if he ends up going one. Uh, three. So the Patriots do it again. So they're in a spot where they could take Jaden Daniels, where they could take a quarterback, frankly could take offensive tackle, but uh, Roma Dunes were Dunes. They did not have the best national title game. Uh, neither did Michael Penix, uh, but uh, him being wide receiver one off the board ahead of Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, well, oh, what the hell happened here? So neighbors goes for him. Don't get me wrong, uh, dudes and neighbors are studs, uh, but ahead of Marvin Harrison Jr. Who's false all the way to six. I mean, if I mean if uh, MHJ got past four, I mean, do you inquire with the Chargers training up? Like, I understand that the Vikings' draft needs are quarterback, edge rusher, D, uh, defensive line, cornerback. But <laughs> I mean, hell, three deep with JJ and Addison and uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. Why the hell not? But uh, for, for whatever reason, he falls through. Like It's not even gas mask bomb because that's legal in most states now. I don't know. Uh, ooh, the first shocker of the draft. So first cornerback of the board is Cooper DeJean. That's not really a shocker, but at seven? I don't know, man. Uh, Jane Daniels go to the Dirty Birds at eight. Uh, Dallas Turner, uh, the edge rusher from Alabama, cracks the seal uh, for edge rushers. He goes to the Bears. So the Bears come over with Caleb Williams and Dallas Turner. It's not bad. Uh, Jerzon Newton, uh, fortunately, goes right before the Vikings at 11, which I don't know. Like, if you're the Jets, like, how the F do you not take an uh, offensive lineman to help out Rodgers? Like, how do you not take Alt? How do you not take Vashanu? I, I don't understand it. Uh, but e either way, the Vikings are on the clock. Now, a couple interesting names. So, I was actually expecting a run on tackles in the top 10, which would push down uh, some some talent, but it didn't happen. Uh, three quarterbacks were taken in the top 10, uh, which, frankly, I think with quarterback tax, uh, teams trading up, I think three quarterbacks go in the top three. Uh, but Williams, May, and Daniels are off the board. That's expected. Uh, but the Vikings, I mean, just st looking at the, the PFF big board. Now, before people get into why are you taking a player that's a reach, I mean, the Vikings board, my board, ain't going to be the same as PFF, so calm down. Uh, Nate Wiggins, uh, frankly, I think Wiggins could end up emerging as cornerback one from this class. Oh, but Andrew Boo Jr. with the Clemson. Scout the player, not the helmet. Mm. Uh, Jared Verse, I mean, Verse is a stud. Latu, if his medicals check out, uh, is amazing. Latham, even though... Yeah, Latham didn't have a good game uh, against Michigan. It is what it is. Uh, Terry and Arnold. I mean, Arnold might be better than Kool-Aid. I mean, they're they're pretty damn close, pretty damn close, man. Uh, Brian Thomas Jr., uh, Knicks, um, Penix Jr., and I I fully understand. Penix Jr. did not have a good national title game. Penix Jr. had an amazing semifinal game, uh, but with Penix, like what he's done all year, or frankly over the last two years, getting it done in clutch moments, the way that the ball just explodes out of his hand, he's got arm talent for days, and. You know, the, the questions are going to be, what about his medicals? What about his knees? What about his shoulders? Uh, can he hold up in the NFL? Uh, also, Michigan, frankly, exposed him uh, when he had to make plays off script, uh, when he moved out of the pocket. That's going to be a question mark. But I, I think there's enough upside there. I think there's a ton of talent there. And if the Vikings do resign Kirk Cousins and Penix or Nix or McCarthy gets a sippy on Kirk for at least a year, I think it's smart. So uh, taking Penix, Penix mightier uh, at 11. People are going to be so mad just because of the national title game. Uh, it's, it's almost like you're, he was facing an elite Michigan defense who probably knew, knew what plays were coming. Hmm. Uh, 
So 12, Nate Wiggins. Oh, man. W- Wiggins uh, with PS2. That's great, man. Uh, Fashanu going to the Raiders. Alt to the Saints. Yeah, okay. Uh, Fuaga. A run on tackles. Latham goes as well. Uh, Jared Verse. Jared Verse goes a Jaguar. Ooh. Ooh. So Verse and Walker and Josh Allen. I don't know, man. Uh, a lot to go into the Packers. That's a problem. That is a problem, especially if medicals check out. Uh, let's see. Kool Aid goes to the Steelers. I like that pairing. Like him and JPJ long term is fantastic. Uh, Tyler Newbin. And now I have to hate him, unfortunately, uh, going to the stupid Eagles, which who need a lot of help uh, in the middle of the secondary. Uh, Lad McConkey uh, falling all, all the way to the Lions. Uh, is, although, who's going to play in the slot now? McConkey or Amonra? Or sometimes both at the same time. Who knew? Leonard Taylor. Oh, man. So, this is a, I, I feel like. For defensive tackles, this is going to be a very interesting class. Bo Nix falls out of the first round. I don't think that that happens, uh, but he goes to Arizona where they're going to try and be half pregnant. So, hey, Kyler, we we have your your, – we we have competition there as well. Sure. Uh, Let's see here. Tez Walker goes to the Giants. Wait, wait, hold on. So, the the Giants took uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. and they took Tez Walker. I, I mean, why not? Why not, man? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, get down with their bad self. But uh, the Vikings st- st- at 42, so they got the quarterback of the future. And for my money, I actually do think that defensive line is the number one uh, spot for the Vikings. Uh, in, in this spot, all right, so take a look. So Mitchell is a cornerback who could end up in the first round. Uh, Tampa also uh, has some chops. Oh, speak of ch- chop, chop Robinson just here chilling. So we got Chop, Chop Robinson, McCar- uh, McCarthy uh, ends up falling out of the first round. Murphy, who is a guy that I love. So uh, Murphy, uh, for, first off, better running back. Mm. Uh, would be an improvement at running back, but him at defense uh, on the defensive line. Now, he can play some nose, but that's more sweat, but uh, he can play some under tackle. And I think that he is a great combination of stuff in the run as well as uh, getting some penetration at some of the Vikings need. Kalen King is in there too. Chris Jenkins uh, is fantastic along the D-line too. So e- either way, I, I, I'm good to go here. I, I want to see how the rest of the interior defensive line looks. Uh, so Wingo, Sweat, Sweat they got projected as a third rounder. I mean, that would be fantastic. Uh, let's see, Mason Smith, uh, Michael Hall Jr., cross i i love a lot i mean th- this is exactly set up very nicely for what the vikings need but you know going with murphy uh, so it's hilarious you have byron murphy jr and you have byron murphy the second on the same team why the hell not we're, we're cornering the market on secondary byron murphy's you know, j- just like how we cornered the market on dalvin's but uh again i fully understand that it was uh, kind of upsetting uh, what what uh, Penix uh, threw out there uh, in the national title game. Um, he left some plays on the field. He misfired on some throws. His receivers didn't help him, uh, but it is what it is. Byron Murphy the second, I think, is going to be a stud. So if the Vikings, so if the Vikings resign Kirk, bring back Daniel, resign Reisner, and the Vikings came away with this. I mean, just ignoring the rest of like open free agency, but the Vikings came away with this uh, as their top two picks. Happy as a clam. Let's do this. Where do I sign up? Oh, hey, Quasey, call me. If you need, if you want to kick Grigson to the curb and you need a new consigliere as GM, call me. There you go. Uh, but that's it. Your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Two-round Vikings mock draft. Let's go, baby. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more to work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.